Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and today we're going to do something extremely fun and awesome between the old iPod over here and this brand new Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So for anybody who's been in this channel here for the last year or two years, you've noticed I've done this video here two years ago as well as one year ago. But there is a ton of new subscribers that has joined here within the last time I've made this video. But I also want to stay current and relevant um, for all those brand new subscribers as well as be the world's first YouTuber to transfer music from an old iPod iPod to a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Now you might be thinking to yourself if you're brand new to this or if you haven't seen these old videos, Jimmy, how are you able to export music from an iPod to a Samsung phone? Uh, everybody knows that the iPod was made to only put music into it. You're not able to use it as a portable storage, if you may say, because if I was to place, you know, 3,900 songs on this iPod here, I'd be able to go to anybody else's house and give them all my music. That's just not the way it worked. And so today I'm going to show you guys how you'd be able to, you know, grab your old iPod you might have, you know, sitting at your house or maybe your friend's house. And you'd be able to take that music and place it on your cell phone and shoot if you really wanted to take that music that is now on your new Samsung device and boom, push it over to your brand new laptop or computer. So in the old days, what you'd have to do is use one of these OTG cables. OTG stands for on the go. Uh, and this right over here was micro USB on the side, which would be able to plug into your Samsung device in the bottom. And then this was the female side of the USB to plug into a normal USB. So hence, plug in, plug in, boom, and transfer. So, but now with these today phones, even with the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, it comes with a little uh, adapter in the box. So this is your OTG adapter, which is USB type C on the bottom, and on the top is your USB. So what you'll do is you will actually just simply connect this beast inside of there, plug it into your brand new Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus or S8. Um, and if you have one of these right here, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, then you'd be able to use this with your you know, S7, S7 Edge or any other you know, Samsung phone that you have. So what is now happening is this phone right here is reading this iPod. The first thing you need to do before you actually connect it is make sure you guys go into your settings. Go to the bottom where it says developer options and you wanna make sure that you turn on that USB debugging so then it would actually be able to read a USB you know, source. Now that this thing has been connected, what we're going to do is I'm going to swipe on down, hold into my little Samsung folder, and this is where it says My Files. Inside of My Files, this is where this USB connection is, which is USB storage. So inside of here, you're going to find this option here where it says iPod Control. Underneath iPod Control, then you're going to actually find this option here for music. Uh, F00. F01, F02. What these stand for is folder 00, folder 01, folder 02, and so on and so forth. So this one right here actually started with 49 folders. But right here you can see where it says F50. This is where the little uh, Easter egg, little golden nugget at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what this one right here does and where it came from. So first off, what I'd like to do is I wanna add more music to my Galaxy S8 Plus because I really don't have a lot. So. First, let's go into my music app just so you guys can see what I've got in there. Um, you can see that there is 26 tracks. Uh, it actually set it right there in the very top. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look and have much more. I'm going to go into folder 13. Now, say what uh, iPod or what Apple did is they compressed all the music files. So they used a little four-letter system. So there's really no, no need to really decipher this. They don't really mean anything. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I, you can also see that there's a few album artworks. So I'm gonna choose uh, beforehand what I say, there's 26 songs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose on 10 different songs to transfer over to my phone. So on the very top right hand side, you got those little three dots. This is where you go to copy. Then you go to your internal storage because you, you're already at this USB storage and you wanna put it in your internal storage or you can even put it in the SD card in your Samsung device. So inside of here, I'm gonna look for where it says music, and then I click on music. Now inside of here, this is where I'll be able to hit on done, and it's gonna transfer those 10 songs. Now, the nice thing about this is when I go back into, <laughs> when I go back into the music app, on the very top up here, you can see this is all the brand new ones. Uh, the crazy thing awesome about it is that those four letters are now gone. Uh, they were only compressed. So now Samsung has 
you know, basically uncompressed them, you can see where it says the uh, title as well as the artist. I'm up to 36 tracks. And yes, it works. So here's the thing that's also nice about it. And here is that little golden egg or little golden nugget that you guys kind of saw a little bit earlier on where it said F50. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this now as a portable storage. So not only did I extract music from it, now I'm going to use this thing to hold some music. So I'm going to show you what I actually have in there right now. So let's go into the USB storage. Let's go back over into iPod control. And now we're back into music on the very bottom where it says F50. You can now see the little bit of a difference. Uh, this already has album artwork. It also has titles. It's got the artist. So these were actually songs stored on the iPod that came from my old phone. So then I can always go back and bring them back over to my new phones if I wanted to. Um, so the nice thing about it, if I wanted to transfer music, just so you guys know, go into the internal storage. You're going to head over into your music. And once you head into music, um, now this is where all the music is at on my phone. I'm going to move over to the scratching and talky beat. So I'm going to go on top to the very uh, top right hand side. I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to head over into this USB storage here. And again, you go into iPod control, go into music, and then I'd be able to place it into F50, which technically I've already done that uh, just a little bit ago, just to make sure that everything is still kosher and working good. So I'm going to actually just put it in F45 just for fun. So you can see here that it's all still those four letters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on done. And now those two songs are actually here inside of F45. Now, the weird, crazy thing about it is that those songs do not show up on here, you know, part of the library. The, the, the crazy thing about it is that it's still going to say 3,963 songs on the iPod. Basically, what's happening is it has all the songs that it's synced up with that I can listen to. But now that F50, if I was to go on back over to the USB storage, let's go into the iPod control music. This F50 right here, this one right here is acting as a portable storage. Um, and, and this does not you know add into the music that is on the iPod over here. It's just, it's really different. It's like almost a separate folder. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.